Hello friends, hope you are doing well. In this session, we are going to discuss the customer life cycle and stages. I'm your instructor Rajesh Durbala and I'll be taking you through a guided tour of various life cycle stages that the customer is in and how to deal with such kind of stages. What could be the various challenges that the firms could suffer or maybe experience during the various stages and how can the firms handle such situations. Fine. Ready for this informative ride? Going ahead. What is the learning outcome for today? Let's see the learning outcome for this session is to analyze the customer life cycle and stages therein. So research tells us that these are the following life cycles and stages that the customer undergoes. The first stage is the prospect. Here, the customer hasn't bought my product yet. He is in that stage where he is trying to explore all the options he has. At this point of a time, the firm needs to target this kind of a prospect and then build him awareness, the kind of awareness that the customer requires about my products and services. So at this point of a time, the awareness is of paramount importance. I need to communicate him. I need to keep on creating awareness about my product and service and stay in the top of his mind recall. So whenever he or she intends to make a buying decision, my product, my service, my brand should come at the top of his recall, right? So this is what a prospect is. So remember, he hasn't purchased my product yet. So I need to keep on targeting him through focused awareness campaigns in order to stay fresh in his top of the mind recall, right? <clears throat> Second one, the first time buyer. So now my prospect is convinced he has purchased the product from me for the first time. So I have to, as a business, I have to take him through such a wonderful and amazing experience that he intend, he should intend to come back to me for repeat purchases. So at this point of a time, providing him with that amazing, awesome experience is of paramount importance. Coming to the third point, that is the repeat buyer. Now, at this point of a time, the customer is happy with my product when he bought it for the first time. He, he finds value in our proposition. So he comes to me for a repeat purchase. But at this point of a time, the firm cannot become relaxed because my customer is open for poaching. He is vulnerable for poaching. He can just shift his preference to any of the competitor if he finds a better value proposition. So there is no scope for the firm to be laid back and relaxed. It has to be persistent in its efforts to give the best value to the consumer or the customer so that even if he comes for the uh, second time or maybe third time, he should keep on coming to me again and again repeatedly. So here, vulnerability of poaching by the competitors is the biggest challenge and the firms have to undertake or diffuse such kind of a scenario where my customer shifts his preference to the competitor, right? Then comes the core buyer. So the core buyer is the fulcrum of my business. Every business, if you see, they would have a very few handful customers who are consistently, persistently loyal to you. They are your fans. They act as your brand ambassadors or at times brand evangelists. They are so happy with your product or service that they keep on talking and bragging about your product with people in his or her network. So it's the firm's paramount importance to keep these kind of customers happy, satisfied and delighted. 
So all the loyalty programs and all are woven in order to keep these core customers happy and they should stick to you. And many a times it has been observed that these are such kind of people who would be the first ones to, you know, experience or enjoy or buy any new offerings from the company. So many a times what happens is the firm or the companies, they try to give any new product or offering to these customers first. Okay. Or maybe they are invited for any product launches. They are, uh, you know, for any special events, they get invitations. So they are the core buyers. They form the entire fulcrum of your business. You get the maximum business and profitability for them. So it's your responsibility to keep them happy and satisfied always. Then you have the defectors. Defectors are those customers who are out of your funnel now. They are dissatisfied for any particular reason and they have just shifted their loyalties to some of your competitor. The reasons why they did so could be many. Probably they found a better value from a competitor or maybe they were unhappy with your service or probably you took more time to resolve their complaints or even it could be the result of a rude behavior of any of your staff members. So reasons could be many, but these are those people who would do the maximum foul mouthing, bad mouthing for your business. So we need to be careful how we need to deal with such defectors. If the firm is proactive enough and does some kind of a service recovery, some kind of a damage control, and if it succeeds in getting back these defectors, that would be a great achievement for the firm. So these are the various stages in the life cycle of a customer. I repeat, first one is the prospect who is not in your funnel yet. He is just considering you as one among the competitors. Probably you may build a lot of awareness about yourself and then the customer or the prospect can enter your funnel and become your customer. First time buyer is the person who has purchased you, uh, purchased any product from you for the first time and it's your responsibility to give him the best possible experience. Then you have a repeat buyer was happy he found value in the first time purchase and now he's coming back to you and now at this point of a time the customer is the buyer is vulnerable to poaching from your competitors so keep him happy keep him satisfied focus on his needs and then you have your core buyers the core buyers form the entire fulcrum the central point of your business they are the most profitable customers so you cannot lose these customers at any point. They are the brand ambassadors. They are the people who spread the positive word of mouth about you in the market. And then the defectors are those people who are dissatisfied with your product or service for any particular reason. So you need to identify those reasons and ensure that those are not repeated so that some of your other customers may not get converted into defectors. So I hope you found this lecture to be useful, informative. If so, do like, share and subscribe. Spread the good word about this channel. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.